everyone, I'm coming to you live with um, bad lighting and no eyebrows. So, don't mind me not wearing makeup because my skin needs to breathe. I'm experiencing a breakout as most of us acne prone people do from time to time. Actually, I think I'm going to go get another chemical pill, but that is another story. I'm not here to talk about my skin. I'm here to talk about my hair. For those who have known me for a while, I have always had long hair and I recently just cut it all off. It looks kind of crazy on camera, but I promise you it's not lopsided. So I'm going to just give you a close up of the texture of my hair. So it's nice and moisturized and I feel like my curls are like, I don't know, they're kind of weird. I, I feel like they're not used to being this short, as weird as it sounds, like hair has a mind of its own, but I I believe that they're not used to being this short. So, anyway, let me get to the point. A lot of people want to know, why would you cut all of your hair off? So, I'm going to give you an Instagram time lapse of my hair. So, in December, my hair was nearly mid-back length, and I had dyed it red. This picture here is actually the day that I dyed it red. You can see the top back portion of it you can see kind of a red tint and for the most part my roots were more red than the rest of my hair i stayed with red hair for for a little while and i noticed that my hair was extremely dry and breaking off and it just was not cute and towards the end of having long hair i noticed that the right side of my hair had broken off significantly compared to the left side so i'll show you a picture right now you can see my hair before i left for rome which is which was exactly a year ago uh next week and this was the state of my hair and my hair was pretty healthy and i came back and i decided hmm let me just do something different i want to dye my hair red i feel like red will be a nice color on me and it will look pretty decent and I always wanted like fire engine red hair so I went and got box dye, worst idea of my life and dyed my hair red and little did I know that was the end of the health of my hair. I experienced extreme breakage, my hair was grown but it was breaking off and it just was not cute and it was still getting longer it's just that the ends were super damaged so I was having to cut off inches at a time every time I would go to the hair salons. I opted to get a bob for my birthday and you can see in my past video my big chop video where I talk about getting my hair cut from about bra strap to the bob and now I went from the bob to having no hair girl I'm bald head bald head small head now I got a big head but honestly it was for it was mainly for the damage caused by the dye and I personally would rather chop it all off and start all over and try something new ain't nothing wrong with a little little bit of new stuff so those of you looking for a reason, I feel like in general, women don't have to have a reason to cut their hair. If I want to cut all my hair off, let me cut all my hair off. If I want to grow my hair down to my ankles, let me grow my hair down to my ankles. That has nothing to do with you. So, I was getting a lot of like, I know you didn't. Why would you do that? Like, I don't understand. Why would you grow your hair out and then cut it? That is the reason why, not that I'm explaining myself, but this is for those out there with damaged hair. It's okay. I mean, if you, it's okay to do what you want to do, but don't be afraid to go for it. Don't be afraid to do things that you're afraid of. Like, a lot of people are afraid of what people are going to say and blah, 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 blah. I had some questions and like, you know, people sitting down like, are you good? What's wrong? Ain't nothing wrong, girl. My new haircut popping. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about my haircut. I know people wanted to know why I had a lot of damage. And on top of that, I don't mind it. And I also don't mind having a new hairstyle. I don't think there's anything wrong with the background. So here's my dad's reaction. It was pretty wild, not gonna lie. And I know that's what you're here to see. So here it is. My dad has a haircut yet. I know this is gonna you. Get your hand down. Hey, Dad. Hey. I know you didn't wear that all the way, huh? And you cut all your damn hair off, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? You're going outside naked and got your hair all off? I'm not naked, Dad. This is a romper. I don't know what it is, but don't take that off. I know you ain't went out like this. 
I was driving today. All I did was drive today. Yeah. Don't need a house like that no more. Honestly, I swear, <laughs> don't, don't ever let me see you need a house like that no more. Wow. Wow, Dad. I'm surprised you didn't flip about my hair. No, I, I, I'm too busy flipping about you walking around with your behind all out. So that was his reaction. It was quite surprising. I thought he would go off a little bit more. He did off camera. He did off camera. He did. Truly, honestly, he did off camera. I mean, it was kind of funny. I mean, what what can you do now but wait a couple more years before my hair grows out? So thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to do you and be you and be whoever you are, you know. Forget whatever other people have to say about what you do with your head or your body. If you're not hurting anybody or yourself, do you and be happy. Thanks for watching. Like if you like this video. Comment down below if you have ever cut off all your hair or thought about it. And what's holding you back if you haven't done it already. And subscribe to my channel for more videos.